This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelade here and welcome back to yet another Sims 4 news and info video. Before I get started, I do want to let you guys know that I've been sick the past couple of days and my nose is literally full of things you don't want to know about. So I'm sorry if I sound a little snotty and a little bit nasally, but I literally cannot breathe right now. I've had tissues up to my face like the whole day, but nothing is going to stop me from making videos for you guys. So of course, a big thank you to EA and Sim Guru Kate for allowing me early access to the upcoming patch notes for PC. This is patch 1.45.62.1020. And not only did we get new feature updates for the game, but we got a lot of bug fixes as well. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hello Simmers, hopefully the weather isn't too hot in your neck of the woods because then you'd be Simmers cough. In addition to several fixes and tweaks to improve your game experience, we've overhauled the gallery. This is something we've been working on for a while and is the first step to keep enhancing the gallery to make it an incredible platform for this community to share its creations. Read below to find out what we've changed with the gallery as well as various improvements throughout the game. Gallery update. Our goal with the gallery is to shift the focus towards the creators making incredible content and make it easier to download the content. And this was actually kind of easy to predict because SimGuru Kate was announcing on her Twitter that they were looking for gallery specific game changers. So this gallery update comes now really makes sense. We've rearranged the content images so that you can now follow the creator, favorite the content, and download the content on the front page. We've moved the search bar and popular hashtags from front and center. Popular now is the default filter, which means you should see more fresh different content. We've renamed and rearranged the tabs. You now have gallery for content, news to find out who's uploading and sharing content, your profile with your name and your library to see your downloaded content. We've updated the art and visuals throughout the gallery. You can now download and place lots and rooms from the gallery even if you begin in live mode. Hooray at last. And I have been so excited for this one. Because normally if you're in live mode and you go on the gallery, the game will say sorry you have to be in build buy mode to do this and then you have to exit out and you have to go back in and research for what you're looking to download but now even if you're in live mode you can still download lots and rooms onto your current lot that you're playing. Just a reminder in case you haven't used the gallery before, the gallery will not download custom content or mods to your machine. There is a filter to see items created with custom content, but it will not install the custom content for you. So you can rest assured that the items downloaded from the gallery will not break your game. And I'm glad that they did put that little disclaimer in there because a lot of simmers think, oh my god, if I download sims from the gallery with custom content that I don't have, it's going to break my game. Nope, it will not download any custom content. It basically just downloads the sim and anything on that sim that is custom content will get dropped and probably replaced to something default that's already in your game. So we got quite a hefty update for the gallery and I'm really happy that they made all of those changes. And now we move on to the sims 4 base game. You can now move easels into your inventory and live drag them, which means you can now paint out and about in the world. Be sure to pick up your easel before you leave. And I really like this because you could be out in the neighborhood and you can be in a section of your world where you can't go into build by mode. You can now click and drag your art easel so you can paint some of the beautiful weather that you witness. Removed unnecessary seams that appeared when wearing some full body toddler outfits. Sims should now use the closest counter to prepare garden salad of any portion size. Sims should now use the closest sink to wash dishes. Sims should now only use a single kitchen space to prepare a meal, even on lots with multiple kitchens. Get to work. The Ask About Suspect interaction is now available during an APB event in the detective career. Get together. You can now select hot and cold weather attire via the closet. You know, I noticed that they didn't have this option with the closet and I'm so happy that they added this in. Sims who belong to an infamous club no longer get the intimidated by fame moodlet at a gathering and thank god seasons the temperature in the kiddie pool is now consistent with other pools sims will get the uncomfortable chilled moodlet but won't immediately begin freezing to death vampires are now protected from the sun when using an umbrella though it probably gives things away wouldn't you say vlad decorations no longer clip through the rooftops when viewing a lot in free camera mode electronic objects will now function properly during the rain assuming they are indoors and beneath a roof 
Sims will no longer freeze to death while playing basketball in cold weather. One could say that as a result of their skillful play, they're on fire. Father Winter has been banned from all clubs and will no longer appear when adding Sims to a club. Seems Father Winter has been naughty. <laughs> Pets will no longer stretch bizarrely while Sims are opening presents. <laughs> This happened to uh, Snowflake in my season's LP when all the kids were opening the presents. My freaking dog was doing contortions and shit and looked like something out of the grudge. <laughs> <laughs> the Sing Together interaction is now available on the Kanara, menorah, and holiday trees when a holiday tradition is active. The Flower Bunny no longer appears on random holidays and events, which is good because flower bunnying is a full-time job and they were really slacking. Sims with the responsible trait now have their daily tasks automatically completed for the gardening career. Responsible doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Sorry, Aretha. Sims who die while skating now die like you'd expect them to die. There was some weirdness, but now there isn't. Just good old standard death. <laughs> I love the amount of humor that goes into these patch updates. Sims were sometimes slipping indoors while walking to a mud pile, which is silly. They now slip and fall like you'd expect. Sims disturb their bees less frequently. We told them to buzz off. Plants pollinated by trees will now evolve more quickly, which is how they be better. Facial hair now appears while the hot and cold weather filters are active. Banana, palm, and fern trees no longer drop leaves. While using the randomized function with a mannequin, you can now see hot and cold weather options appear. We fixed various typos in the scouting career. Apparently, our scouts didn't earn the spelling merit badge. Handiness whims are now completed when handy sims work on the sprinklers and weather controller. Jungle Adventure Vegetarian safe options purchased from local vendors are now actually vegetarian safe. Well, wouldn't you assume? Purchasing items from a vendor now contributes to the jungle explorer aspiration progress. Perfect patio stuff. Broken sparks visual effects now go away once you repair a hot tub. Backyard stuff. Birds will once again appear when a bird feeder is placed. Vintage glamour stuff. The vanity table should now apply makeup appropriately once more. And lastly, laundry day stuff. Clothing should no longer disappear after hung on a Model T clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't experienced that one, but that one's quite interesting. Alrighty, you guys, so those are the patch notes for today, July 31st. And thank you again, EA, as well as SimGuru Kate, for giving me early access to these patch notes so I can read, edit, and create this awesome video for you guys to publish right when this patch goes live. Leave all of your questions, comments, and concerns down below. Have you guys experienced any of these glitches that they fixed? Are you excited for the new gallery overhaul update? Let me know all of those things down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Subscribe to become a pixelator today, and ding the little bell next to the subscribe button, and you will be notified whenever I upload any type of new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.